Hi, it's Ken Whitehouse here from Hart, Honda Australia Roadcraft Training. Today I'd like to have a look at the simple operation of how we get our scooter up on the centre stand. I say it's a simple operation because it is, if we get a couple of things right. Get them wrong and you can make this look real hard. So what, what do we need to consider to get the scooter up on its centre stand? First, we need to make sure that the centre stand legs are in contact with the ground. So we're going to do that by straighten the scooter up. I'm going to place my foot on the centre stand pad and press it down to the ground. I'm facing forwards, same way as the scooter, and I just gently rock the scooter from side to side to make sure it's balanced on the two legs. My left hand uses no effort at all. It's only to guide the handlebars. Where we do use some effort is we're going to push directly down with our right foot and we're going to lift straight up to the sky with our right hand. Our right hand is placed at the grab rail towards the back of the scooter. Now, as I, in conjunction, push down with my foot and lift up with my hand, the scooter comes up and slightly moves backwards. It does that on its own. We just need to think about pushing down with our foot and directly up with our hands. Make sure you keep your head up for balance. And now the scooter's up on its center stand. Now let's have a look at how we roll the scooter off the center stand. This can be done uh, with two methods. We could do it standing beside the scooter. The other is we could be straddling the scooter for a little extra stability. The first one, standing by the side. Two hands on the handlebars. Left hand out over the rear brake so that we control the roll of the scooter as it comes off the stand. A Couple of little gentle rocks back and forward and then just a little extra effort on one push. Rolls off the stand, control the roll with the rear brake. The other way is straddling the bike. Let's put it back up on the center stand. Center, center stand feet on the ground, push down with the leg, up with the hands, and it's up. Now, straddle the bike, both feet on the ground, left hand out over the rear brake lever, little rocks backward and forward, little extra effort and push, and it rolls off the center stand. Nice and easy. Now when we move our scooter around, we always recommend that you do it without the motor on. But every now and again, you might find that due to terrain or other circumstances, you might need the motor to assist you when you're pushing your scooter. If we're going to do this, we need to make sure of a couple of things. First off, we want to make sure that we don't over accelerate. So by keeping our wrist low, it should overcome the chance of doing that. We need to make sure we control the speed. So as we are pushing the scooter with the motor assisting, a little bit of rear brake to control the speed. The other thing that we need to do is make sure we keep our head up and always look where we want the scooter to go. So let's have a look at that. We'll start the scooter up, make sure your side stands up, key on, rear brake and start. Wrist nice and low, rear brake on, head up looking where I want to go, small amount of accelerator and ease the rear brake. Keeping the scooter slightly leant towards you so you don't overbalance. When we're coming to a stop, straighten the scooter up, roll off the throttle, gently apply the rear brake. Now turn the motor off. It looks quite simple, but it can get away from you. Follow those tips and it shouldn't. So let's recap the main points of what we've been looking at. First off, to get the scooter up onto the center stand. We need to make sure the two center stand legs are in contact with the ground. The left hand is just to guide the handlebars. We push straight down with our foot in conjunction with lifting straight up with our right hand. The scooter comes up and back. To take the scooter off the center stand, two methods. By the way, both of them should be done with the motor off. The first one, left hand side, keeping your head up for balance. Cover the rear brake so as the scooter rolls off, you can control the speed. A couple of rocks gently back and forward, little extra effort forward and the scooter rolls off. The other way is to be straddling the bike for a little bit more stability. Once again, two hands over the bars, covering the rear brake, a couple of little rocks back and forward, little extra effort, the bike will roll off and control the speed with the rear brake. The other thing we looked at is motor assisted pushing of the bike. 
If we're going to do this, we do need to be very careful. The major points are, keep your right wrist nice and low so we don't over accelerate. Control the speed with a little bit of rear brake as we're accelerating. Keep your head up for balance, always look where you want the scooter to go and keep it leant slightly towards you. I hope these tips help. If you need any more help, come and see us at heart. Safe riding.